Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Nat Fashion Hall, your solution to fashion. It's always a nice time to be here because I believe that my videos are helping you and you are learning a lot from it. Like I said in my other videos, please, I need comments. Drop a comment and let me know with what I'm teaching you, your understanding, and it's, it's, it's helping you to grow in fashion. Today, we're going to do a very simple thing. I'm going to teach you how to cut a danshiki. So many people have been wondering, how is a danshiki cut? You know, because see, it's so being like a bada. It's very simple. Today, I'm going to teach you how to cut a danshiki. This video, I'll teach you how to cut a danshiki. And the next video I'll make will be how to sew it. So, subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscribe button down the screen right there and turn the notification bell on so that you won't miss out on any of my video. If you don't subscribe, you won't know when I'll be sewing this dance shaking. But if you subscribe and you turn the notification bell on, you will know when I'm sewing dance shaking because you will receive my notification immediately I drop the video. So, subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe. So, without wasting time, let's get into the class and do our dance shaking cutting. Thank you. Welcome to my fashion hall. All right, so without wasting time, let's go straight into cutting our danshiki. Right on the table, I have my chalk, I have my ruler, short and long, I have my tape and my scissors. These are basically the tools we'll be using to cut our danshiki. So, um, cutting a danshiki is very simple, very, very simple, you know. The easiest way to cut your danshiki is to fold your fabric into four. You can see this fabric? First, I need to measure and know that when I fold into four, it will still give me the length of danshiki I want. For this danshiki, I'm looking for a length of just 31 inches. So, folding is the material, you see. So, I fold it into two. Fold it into two. That's step one. Fold it into two. So, I will measure and see if the length is long enough to give me the length of my danshiki. So I'm looking for a length of just 31. So this is this is 31, so it's long enough to give me my danshiki. You know, so after folding this way, we now fold for the second time. And the second time we are folding it, you see, we're folding it this way. Second time we're folding this way. See, so now we have our danshiki. Now we are using we are using basically we are using basically three measurements to cut our danshiki. We are using the shoulder, the shoulder measurements. We are using the bust and we are using the full length of our danshiki. The length of the top, how long we want it to be. So, for our shoulder, the shoulder for this danshiki is 16. So, if we measure, you see that we have our 16 here and we see our excess allowance and we don't need that much allowance. So, we reduce this folding instead of, so as not to waste our fabric, we reduce this folding. Us reduce it so that we can use the remaining fabric there for something else so we have a shoulder of of 16 this is 16 you know still you can see this is a little I don't like wasting fabric let's just use exactly what we need so okay this is 16 yes so the remaining two inches here be used for our hemming allowance, use as hemming allowance. Okay, so, this is this is 16 right here. So, the arm we we'll use for arm allowance, we we'll use 11 right there for our arm sleeve round. You know, here at this point, we're using 11. That should be 22. 11. So the next thing for us to do is to take our bust measurement. Let's extend this line so that we can get our bust measurement. You can see the line very clear. So our bust measurement, when you cut it, you divide bust measurement by four. So let's take our bust measurement. Our bust measurement is 46. 
if we divide 46 by 4 you'll be having 11 and a half so this is 11 and a half we'll add one inch sewing allowance that becomes 12 and a half so you see this is 11 and a half plus one inch sewing allowance becomes 12 and a half so let us join this line this our a shoulder line down so shoulder line we see we are using 16 for our shoulder so let's mark the 16 down here and join this point to this point right I'll join this line and we said our bust is 46 divide both by bust by 4 we have 11 and a half plus 1 inch allowance that's 12 and a half so we extend our 12 and a half down here this is what this is 12 and a half and we'll add another one and a half inch allowance it becomes 14. this one and a half inch allowance is for the side slit you know there's a little side slit there that we might want to put it's not necessary but if you want you, you add it the next thing for us to check is our length the length of our danshiki the length of our danshiki is 31 this is 31 and we are leaving three inches three and a half inches allowance for the hemi so that becomes 33 and a half so we still mark our 33 and a half this side this is 33 and a half so without wasting time let us join these lines together this is the length of our danshiki the length of our danshiki we join it hope this line is, is, is visible enough clear enough for you to see the next thing we join the the, the side the boss the chest i call it the chest yes now this is the chest we prefer calling this in the chest the chest fine so like i said if you want to give it a little side slit down here you just um this one i have not added here you extend it up up to about five six inches it's about six inches for that side and um, slit there overlapping slit there so look at this place now carefully your arm here you're not going to allow it to be sharp like this to be an angle 90 like this you have issues sewing it so what do you do you curve this from here just work very well you curve this from here just work very well hope you can see this you can use your your cups if you have them to cut this can you see so you curve it like that but before cutting this there's a way you cut it you don't um just cut it anyhow if you watch this 11 for our sleeve round but i'm not cutting from here that would be wrong i'll cut and extend by two inches like two inches then i'll cut inwards then what i will do is to fold this in you see is to fold this in very important so after folding this in you still locate your 11 where it was this is your 11 look at 11 here see so on this point you located 11 you, you join your curve back see this is how you do it such that when you are cutting you cut like this You are following and you are finding it easy and straightforward so you see this is our danshiki now if you open this to look like this now it's very important if you don't do this if you had cut this straight hmm, by the time you would want to hem this sleeve 
you see what, what, what's happening you be having a shortage from here so cutting it like this prevents that shortage from occurring the next thing we are going to do is to locate to remove the neck you know and this person has a neck of 17 so we will mark two and a half inches and you see we are marking two and a half inches for the wideness of this neck this is two and a half inches hope you can see the chalk is clear enough for you to see this two and a half inches by a depth of four and a quarter you see this is two and a half by four and a quarter then you join this point just watch join this point to this can you see that you join this point to this this is very simple now how do you cut it out you don't start cutting here if you start cutting here, it means you're cutting both the back and the front piece together you don't do that simply you cut half inch this is this is what this is half inch you see so you cut it first both the back and the front you first cut it by half inch look at it you first cut it out by half inch it's a very simple way of cutting danshiki if you've not subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button and turn the, the notification bell on so you see i've removed both the back and the front neck with the same depth depth the same depth of half inch once i'm done with that i will now open my danshiki and separately deepen the front piece you see this is my danshiki i've opened it now i will separately deepen the front piece like i said it's a very very simple way of cutting down shiki i don't want to teach you anything that will complicate be complicated so you see at this point we can now remove this neck the front piece and you see Danshiki is set. You see, this is our neck. This is the front. This is the back. This is the back, and this is the front. So if I should cut this back, you can now see that we have our Danshiki right here. You see this is the back and this is the front hope this is very very simple for you to understand so if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on because I am going to work on another video where i will sew this danshiki so if you want to know how to sew a danshiki please subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on so that immediately i drop a video on how to sew a danshiki you will be notified and you will quickly come watch and learn so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing Thank you so much. Yes, you that just subscribe now. I just see one subscription now. You that subscribe, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. See you.